Okay, hello. <laughs> I like to start off with a question. How many here in this room have never ever seen this program before? Please raise your hand. One? Oh, that's cool. Okay, then I will ask a second question. How many people here in this room has never used this program before, never engaged with it? No one? Oh, that's cool, that's great. But I hope at least I will, I will be able to learn some of you some new tricks about this. So for the obvious, this is called MS Paint. And did you know that MS Paint was first released in the first version of Windows in Windows 1? back in 1985. It's actually older than me, and probably many of you as well. Paint and Notepad is, is only two applications that still exist in the current version of Windows today, and this makes Paint one of the most available programs of all times. And this is also probably the reason why so many of you, or all of you have touched this at some time, even though it's been a long time since last time. Um, I think it was in 2017-ish when Microsoft released Windows 10. They then said that, no, we are not going to include Paint anymore. And uh, what happened then is what it was that the Paint community, whoever they are, um, uh, they get mad, and uh, long story short, uh, Microsoft came back and like, okay, 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 we're gonna we're gonna keep Paint. Okay, that's fine. Um, so instead of removing Paint, they gave it a kind of a makeover. So now in Windows 10, it looks something like this, and Windows 11, which I haven't upgraded to yet, it looks like something like this. So um, today I will show it in this version. Every feature will be available in uh, in both versions. So you know, um, yeah, uh, back in the days, back in early 1990s, late 1980s, um, Microsoft used Paint as a showcase product. They uh, said, like, look here, look, we have a Paint tool. You can draw in it, looks awesome, great, yay. But now, you know, there are so many other applications that is so much better. So Paint kind of lost its glory days, right? But hey, I'm here to show you some of the hidden features, so maybe you can use Paint a little bit more. Okay, so sorry, I forgot to present myself in the beginning. <laughs> My name is Marianne Melus. I work at a company in WebStep in Oslo, and I'm, I'm a software developer. I'm not the designer, as you can see. <laughs> and I like to use Paint, and I've used it for many, many years, even though uh, even since I was a small kid and fooled around on my parents' computer. And since then, I've been figuring, figuring out some of its hidden features, which i like to share with you guys. So shall we just start, right? So let's see if I can get this working. Let's see. Is this working? Once again, not moving. I need this to work. I tried it just minutes ago. Mm, sorry about that. Um, okay, then we'll just go for plan B. Then I will use my touchpad. Okay, so I use paint for, for drawing um, sketches for my clients. And let's say I have this blue button here, this info button here. And you probably, for some of you guys that have used this, is, uh, um, experience this, that you get the white background with you, right? It's kind of annoying. This feature is not that advanced and not that uh, hidden, but I like to include it anyway. So in Paint, you have something called transparent, transparent selection. If you select this one, you're able to avoid to picking up the, the white background with you. So then you just place the button over here. Many of you probably knew that already, so let's take it a step further. Um, so let's say I want to bring the, the blue button, button out again of this gray panel. If I do this like this, I will bring the gray panel and the gray background with me, right? Not ideal. So in order to fix that problem, um, you have to know about a certain trick. 
You see those two colors up here, color one and color two? Color two is associated with your background color. So if you select the color two as the background color, why doesn't this work? Um, um, then you are able to bring it out again. So let's see. I use this color pick picker tool. Uh, in order to select for color two, I have to right click or double tap with my touchpad. If I select just single or left click, I select this as my color one. But right now I just want it for color two. So if I select the blue button again, I'm able to drag it out. So yeah, this is one of the features I use the most when I make sketches for my clients. But let's take a look at another, another one. Okay, so this is a flower. Um, and let's say I want to remove only one single color. Let's say I want to uh, remove the, um, the light green color each here, but not the dark green. In order to do that, I have to select the color I like to remove, select the rubber tool, and then right click or double tap with my mouse. Oops, I wanted this to work. It's so much easier when you have a mouse. Come on. No. Why is this not working? Doesn't work. <laughs> the touchpad is not, it's not working for me. But yeah, if you right click with your rubber, then you're able to only uh, remove one color. Just give me a minute. I will just try to fix this because I want to show you too. Why is this not connected? <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. I know I take a lot of time to doing this. No. Nope. Okay. It says it's pure, though. But okay, anyway. Um, if I want to change the color for, for the green one, if I want to select just one color and, and uh, change the color, I can use also the same method. So then I select the color I want to change it to from that color and then I can... Yeah, right click doesn't work on my, my notepad. Oh, now it worked. Okay, so then I can able to color just one. One color, only the green one. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, when I um, uh, when I use paint, I like to be a little bit more efficient while doing so. Um, one of the feature is, um, you know, the magnifying glass. You can zoom in and out. You can you can do that with also using your wheeler on your mouse to scroll in and out. My mouse doesn't work right now, so. But you can also hold in the. Um, uh, you can also click for zoom in and right click to zoom out, which is more efficient than than dragging this this thing down here, I think. Um, as a developer, I use copy pasting a lot. I use control C, control V uh, multiple times during the day. Um, but in paint, there's actually another more efficient way to copy paste this stuff. So um, let's say I want to copy this info button. You can do the control C, control V, then you get in the corner. That's not the most efficient way. So in order to copy paste this thing, hold down the control button, and then you're able to drag the button multiple times around, and then you are able to, to make multiple copies of it. If you ever want to um, resize anything, there's a resize option here. You can double it in size or minify it, make it smaller, etc. You can also rotate um, both in different degrees and also vertically and horizontally, and etc. Which I use a lot. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, and one more thing. Um, almost forgot. Did you know that in Paint you can make custom brushes? You probably used other tools and have tried different custom brushes. You can do that here too. 
let's say I make a custom brush, um, a star, for example. Uh, and then I select my custom brush, uh, or I select my star, and if I hold the shift button, I'm able to make a custom brush out of it. You probably don't see the use case here, right? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I use it actually when I'm having a button uh, and I want to make it longer. So if I select the end of the button and want to make it longer, I hold the shift button and then just drag the button out. I'm a little bit nervous, so so it's not getting straight, but yeah, you get the point, right? <laughs> so yeah, um, I don't know how much time I have left, but uh, for those who were um, uh, some, uh, saw this in the beginning, you can see that this is an actually a web app uh, on JS app. Uh, jspaint.app is available as long as you have Wi-Fi. So for you guys who are not Windows user, you can actually do paint. And you probably maybe think some of the features were not available back then, but they actually are. So you can, let's see. Uh, I just had to switch. You have the transparent background over here. It's a little bit hidden, but yeah, you have the same same stuff here. So. So now you all can use paint if you like to. <laughs> OK, so I think that's, that's what I have to show you guys. But if you want to know more features, please contact me. I will be standing here afterwards and um, by the WebSep stand in the arena. And uh, I hope you guys learned something new today. And maybe you can use paint more in your daily, daily work, as what I do. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for listening. And hope you have a great day.